We're at Prairie du Sac again. We got a lot of worms and we got a lot of daylight this time. So we're gonna take this worm, hopefully throw it out there and hopefully catch some bait. We are after a giant flathead. I have not caught a giant flathead on the lower Wisconsin. And I aim to do it here because I do think this is the best chance I got to catch a really big flathead in the lower Wisconsin. There we go. That should be good. All right, my smallest pole I think is getting a tap finally. Do I have my cut bait? I want that cut bait. Is that a fish? Yeah, I think that is. That's a fish, it's a small one. But a small fish is what I need right now. Is that a bluegill? What is that? Is that a drum? Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Small freshy. Ah, that's gonna be great cut bait. And stop using these worms and wasting them for nothing. Fresh water drum. That'll make decent bait for tonight. All right, I got a piece of that flesh on there. I have a smaller piece of flesh now because in the colder water, and the water is much cooler now, um, I think flatheads actually, and fish in general, prefer smaller bait. So you know, a smaller be, uh, bit of fresh cut bait in fast current will definitely attract them. I think that's a fish, I'm not really sure. It doesn't seem to be moving though. Is that a fish? Or is that just a snag? It doesn't feel like a snag because it's not... Yeah, I think it feels like a snag now. It feels like a fish that got me on a snag. No, that's a fish. That's 100% a fish. That's not a snag. Never mind. thought that was a snag. But no, that's 100% that's a fish. I can feel like I can, I can lift it up. Is that a sturgeon, a flathead? That is 100% a fish. Oh, there, it's a massive turtle. I think it, I'm caught. Oh, no, I'm not caught. I think I'm just feeling my other line. But that is massively a fish. I gotta make sure my lines, my drag's actually out. Other than that, it's a log. I don't know what that is. It feels like a fish. It's either a fish or a gigantic log. Yeah. I, Thought I had a snag here, but no, that's a fish. I don't know what kind of fish it is, but it's a fish. It's a big one. Well, it's, I don't think it's like 80 pounds, but it's probably like 30, 40 pounds. It could be a log. Cause it doesn't. Be, I don't feel it fighting, which is weird, but it is coming up. If I hit a big rock, it's gonna be my PB rock. Is, it, is my PB fish or is it my PB rock? That's the real question. Now it's fighting. It's, it's definitely a PB fish. Oh, there it is. There's that drag pull. That's a big one. That's a big one. Doesn't want to come in, but that's a big one. Glad I didn't use the tiny ass hook. That would have been bad. Question is, is it a sturge or is it a flatty? Could be either one. I think by the weight it's... I'm leaning towards sturgeon, but I've caught catfish here, definitely. Just not ones this big. But it's starting to rip some line out as much as it can rip off this 50 pounder. Keep my lines tight. Oh, this is a, this is a big one. It's definitely a big one. Oh man. This feels like I'm dragging up the bottom anchor. It's gotta get tired sooner or later, right? I have my drag's on decently tight too, but it's still pulling a bit of line out. That's just how strong it is. And now it's pulling more line out. I can't pull any back. Just gotta tire this thing out. Oh my God, this thing's huge. This thing's massive. Let's work it in a little bit at a time. There's not too much down there to get snagged on. But now, oh yeah, come, oh, now it's pulling out more. Just gotta make sure it doesn't break my uh, hook. Keep some drag on and hopefully reel it in soon. It's starting to pull out a lot more. Much bigger than the one I had a couple of days ago. Oh my God, it's gonna be a long fight, but come on, 
In we come, in we come. This has got to be one of the big ones. Or it's like a 60 pound flat, which they do exist here, and I hope that's what it is. So like I said, I have not caught a flathead gopo fish here, and I would like to catch a flat here. Oh, jeez. I like the other guy. I'm not actually being, I'm not actually that prone to being pulled uh, that way because my line's a lot stronger than his. Is that a, yeah, that's a sturge. I, I saw the nose. Man, I was hoping it was a flat, but it is daytime, so I can see why it'd be a sturgeon. That is a monster. Oh my god, that's a monster. <laughs> and now it's not letting me pull it in. It's a monster that does not want to pull in. Oh my God, this is gonna be my PB most likely. Definitely feels like my PB. It's a grande. It is a sturgeon grande. There, oh yeah. That's like a, it's a five footer. It's a five, it's a five footer. It's a five foot. <sighs> Gotta pull it in somehow. That's what, that's what he had. This is what he had, except like his was bigger. You need a net. Like it's, you can't, you're not gonna be able to get this in the net. Yeah, that's what he had. Except his was like probably like a couple inches bigger. Wait, no, that one's bigger. No, no, his no. his is definitely bigger. No, that one was like this. Yeah, yeah, his was definitely bigger. Like the one he had oh, was definitely big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one he had was definitely bigger. But this is like a 55, 60 incher. It's a sturgeon. Which one? Sturgeon. Big one, big one actually. Yeah, it's a big one. A big one. I yeah. <laughs> Yeah, his was bigger though. Yeah. yeah, his like yours was bigger though. Yours was bigger than this one. Yeah. Yeah, but you, you just didn't get it in. This is like a this is like a 60 oh. incher. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Like a 16 pound, right? No, no. This yeah, this one's got to be like 40, 50 pounds. 40? Are you kidding? Me? Yeah, it's it's got to be 40, 50. Wait, hang on. I, I can't I can't get it in. What yeah. is that? Sturgeon. Yeah. Sturgeon. Yeah, he uh, like he had one on too, but his was bigger. Yeah, bigger? Yeah, his was like at least. Really? A, yeah, his was probably 20, 30 pounds bigger. Yeah, I, I don't see that. Yeah, cause like. Yeah. But like my line, my line is about yeah. twice as strong as his, so yeah. that, that's why I can pull it what in. What kind of line is that? Like it's, 40, it's fifty pound braid. Fifty pound braid. Yeah. His was Ooh. his was definitely bigger. It's not really monster actually. Monster sturgeon. You wanna take? You wanna take? Uh, no, 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 no. You, you, well, you, well, I'm gonna take a picture, but you can't keep these. Yeah. You can't keep this one. Okay. They have to be six. They have to be five feet long for you to keep, and it's got to be in September. So. Really? Not, yeah, you can't keep it right now, but I gotta. Send the lures or something. Or you, uh, I'm just using like cut, cut up fish. Yeah. Cut up fish, but usually they bite on worms. What kind of fish do you cut? Uh, drum, like drum. Real, drum yeah, but like they usually bite on worms. Really? I'm going. I was going for catfish. Oh, these level actually. That's. I was going for catfish, but. Stronger, right? He's strong. Yeah, he's strong. He's strong. Right on that. 60 inch sturgeon. All right, guys. 58 inch sturgeon. Almost 60, but it's what a 60 incher looks like. 58 inches insane probably like like uh 40 50 pounds getting really really strong here all right good fish good fish yeah so, all right let me uh, get this guy in the water again uh, gotta put a big one in the water it's not even surgeon season can't keep them but 60 58 inches probably like 40 50 there it goes there it goes see you sturgeon see you that was a thrill, but we're really after a flathead, so we gotta toss this as far as we can into the Wisconsin. There we go, that's good. Those guys are on the island over there. Probably just used a boat to get up like right there. That's an excellent place to fish for flathead and sturgeon. Mainly flatheads, and I want one, so I'm throwing as far as I can. 
Okay, we have a really big dam with like a lot of bait coming down the rapids. There's got to be a flathead in there, right? I mean, there's no way there's not. We might have something here. The little peck peck thing is usually an indicator of a fish. As a fish, is it a small or big one? This one, I'm not gonna say it's a small fish, but I think it is. A, it's oh, you know, every time I about every time I think it's a small fish, it just gets like 20 times bigger. That's not small. I, I think it's a flat. I don't. It doesn't feel as heavy as the other ones. So I'm gonna guess it's either a really small one or possibly like a 15 pound flat or like a 10 pound flathead, which I am more than happy to actually like get. Okay, it feels heavier now, but I don't think it's quite as heavy as the other other one. Yeah, it feels much heavier now, but I'm hoping, that was a bigger chunk of cut bait, but I'm, so I'm hoping it's a flat. Yeah, it's, it's resisting now pretty hard. It's actually resisting now, and it just ran. Oh my god, that is a, uh, that is a much bigger fish than I thought now. Yeah, it's, uh, it's running really hard. Did I just lose it? Nope. But it's cranking on the bottom, which I don't like. This is going to kill my pole, isn't it? This is just not... Did I lose it? Nope. Keep on thinking I lost it because it dropped something, but it's like... It's mass. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. You know, sometimes I just wish I hooked like just a 40 incher or something like that. And I just get like an easy, easy pull up. Well, 40 inches aren't easy pull ups, but they're much easier than you know, like a 50, 60 inch. <laughs> but yeah, I'm hoping this is a flathead actually, but I don't think so. This feels so much heavier than most other flathead, most, about any flathead I've ever caught. I've caught some pretty big ones. This one, uh, this one's bigger. This is definitely bigger. I feel that drag just screaming. As soon as I get it close to shore, it's just like, it just pops. I want to lift it off the bottom so it doesn't get snagged, but I can't move it off the bottom. Is it a flathead or a sturgeon? I just want to see. I think it's, I think it's a sturgeon, but it's hard to say. It's, I mean, they both fight the exact same way, it's just that one tends to be much bigger than the other one. And I'm not, not doing, my back is not doing too hot right now. Oh, I wish I was 25 years old again. Then I wouldn't have this back issue at all. But, I'm not 25 years old, unfortunately. Just summon all my strength to get this fish. Jesus. Every time I think it's about to give up and come in, it just, just rips like 20 yards of line. Oh man, this is, yeah, this is insane. It was like running a freaking marathon. Oh my god. Just gotta play it for a little while longer. Wait until it tires. That could be like an hour for a big sturge. I don't think it's a flathead. Flathead would have surfaced by now. It just wants to anchor on the bottom. I can't do this. I'm too old for this. Actually, I'm not. But I am kind of old for this, honestly. Well, if I was 25, this wouldn't be a problem. But I'm not 25. Oh, yep, it's a sturge. It's not as big as the last one. But it's still like a good 50 inches. It's still a good 50 inches, but it's not as big as the last one. 
but I think I'm gonna get this one. 50 inch fish, my friends. And that's a small one. Insane, I know, insane. If this one was bigger than the other one, I would have just gone home, but this one's like significantly smaller. I think this one's like 40, 45. 45 or so. So like, is it? Eh, might be 50. But it's a little bit smaller than the other one. That's insane. Oh man, flathead, come on. Never caught a big one at Sock Dam. But I've caught a lot of these. And these are big ones tonight. These are definitely big ones. But yeah, this one's long. I don't think it's quite as heavy, but it's long. All right, Sturgeon Decimator. I am. I, I have dominated the ancient fish of doom tonight. Sturgeon. All right, my friends. That's, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Uh, 49 inches this time. Not quite as big as the last one, but 49 inch ancient fish of doom. Doom fish, big ones tonight. I think I got one, but it's definitely not a sturgeon, I would think because it didn't hit like one. I think it's a catfish and I think it's a channel. It's definitely not fighting like a sturgeon. It keeps going back, but it's a big one if it is. It's a pretty decent sized one. That rod just kind of like bent like insane the moment the fish hit. So I knew it wasn't, probably wasn't a sturge. But it is taking a decent amount of drag, so it's, it's a channel, it's a pretty big one. Yeah, like 150 pound plus fish today so regardless of what else happens I'm doing pretty well I don't mind a big channel or a flathead because you know it's kind of what i'm here for too well mainly just a flathead unless that's a paddle fish that's snagged which would be very very different i've definitely hooked paddle fish that are snagged as what is that fish so it keeps loosening me up so i think it's actually off, but it's obviously not off. It's massive. Well, it's not really massive. It's heavy though. It's, it's heavy and it keeps darting. So it's not a sturgeon. And it, like the pole basically went berserk as soon as it hit it. It feels very, very heavy. Oh, is that a, is that a sturgeon? Is that like, oh, I think it's a snagged one? Yeah, it might be a, nope. I think it is a sturgeon, but it's, it's it's taking way more drag than most sturgeons would. But it's not big. It's, it's, it's not as big as the other ones. I, that I can feel. I think it just snagged. Like, it just swung by and then got snagged somehow. It's not usually how I catch my sturgeons, but whatever. But it is, I should just walk over. It is decent size it's not small for any means and when they get snagged they really fight differently from when they hook in the mouth because that almost pulled my pole in the water but oh my god it's it's actually a pretty big one too is it snagged or is it just like one of those hyperactive ones it could just be one of the hyperactive ones it is taking drag like crazy this is not usually what sturges do I thought that was a catfish for sure. Like a channel with that one too, but I'm like, man, this must be like an 80 pound channel, which doesn't exist. Maybe a blue got down here somehow, which did not happen, unfortunately as that is. I've been wanting to catch a blue in Wisconsin for quite a while now, and it's just not happening. Could be a paddlefish, I guess. We'll see in a while if I can ever get it up, because it is taking, it's taking so much drag. It just like jumps too. God, it's taking so Man, now it just feels like I'm lifting an anchor as well. Jeez. What is going on? Why are these fish so strong? I've not yet achieved Super Saiyan 3. I can't take much more of this. 
I have a feeling I'm grinding on something too. I've not yet achieved Super Saiyan 3. I need to, I don't have that much of a power level yet. Drag it a little bit closer. I don't like it, my lines on some rock. I can feel that. It's on the big one too. I think my line's on that tree over there. Because I know there is a tree over there. I can see it on the break right there. It's a small one though, so I might be able to pull it in regardless. This guy, this guy. It might actually be hooked in the mouth now that I look at it. This guy. Oh my gosh. This fish. It just like sits there. I don't know if I can get it in. It's so heavy. I saw it go berserk too. It didn't look that big, but it feels really big now. One of the few sturgeons that made my pole just massively go insane the moment it hit. I think it was a sturgeon anyways. That's like an oddball muskie that bit at night. I think it's, geez, it's not giving up this fight, I can tell you that. It's still taking my drag. It's not wanting to give up the fight. I can't just force it in. Oh. oh, all right, need a girlfriend so she can kind of help me just uh, reel for a while and fight this fish while I'm taking a break because these fish are like monstrous. These are just truly monstrous fish that just take forever to reel in. Oh. It's not stuck at least, that's I know. I can still lift it off the bottom, but it's just trying to... Oh. Oh. It's a monster. You can tell it's a monster. It feels actually heavier than the two I got in. So could this be the 60, 70 pound fish? Oh my gosh. Keep it off the bottom. Keep it off the bottom. Jeez, every time I get a little bit in, it just takes line back. Oh, it's wrong with like 80 pound fish. It's like, you want to get them in, but they just don't come in. Like, you feel like you're lifting the bottom, but you can still feel the fish come up a little bit. It's not the bottom. You can see that thing move. Oh my god. No, come on, fish. Don't do this to me. Why does it feel like I'm just trying to lift the bottom? It's not even moving that much, it's just refusing to come. up and, he, and it's just oh it's not like a flathead where it just goes insane when it gets close i can't get it close i literally cannot get it close i cannot get it close what is this thing why why is this thing how is this thing? Why doesn't it just give up? Oh, this takes so much longer than the flathead to reel in. It probably weighs like three times as much as your average flathead. It got it off that, but now it's caught on my other string 
and that's not good. Oh, come on, fish. I'm an old man. I'm an old, old man. I am an old man. You know, 618's got the big, mighty blue cats. I've got these. I should have 608 fishing. Just, should actually just go over here. Oh, make sure I don't die. So that is an option. I, I can actually die if I get dragged in. And this is, guys, this is actually why tying yourself, tying the, the, the uh, a line around your waist and say, thinking it can take any fish is a dumb idea. Because this fish, I can guarantee you, is just as strong as I am. Probably stronger. Because I'm not like 100% muscle. Oh, come on. This is just... Oh my god. I want to see it. I just want to see it. It feels bigger than the other two. It really does. It feels a lot bigger than the other two. This is one of the issues with the really big ones. Is I just can't get them. I cannot reel them in. It's like a little at a time. But I realistically can't reel them in. They just resist. I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to give up on the fish, but it's, I just cannot reel them in. A little at a time, a little at a time. It was, it was actually pretty close to shore, honestly. Ow. You know what? I thought this was a catfish for sure when it first grabbed it because it just hit like crazy. I was like, oh, channel catfish. But if this is a channel, this is a big mama channel that has been hiding in the depth waiting to eat a human for like a hundred years. It's coming up, it's sturge. But it doesn't even look that big. Is this sturge? It, it, it looks like a sturge. Oh, is that a sturge or a paddlefish? It can actually just be a paddle. Because a paddle, like, I can't really show it. Because it's... I think it's, a, yeah, it's a big paddle. It's a massive paddlefish. That's why it went berserk. That's a big one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, look at that. Look at that paddlefish. That is massive. Got caught in the tail. No wonder it felt different. All right. I think I'm gonna try to get it over to where I can just kind of land it and then unhook the tail. And then uh, I can just let it go. And I get like one picture of it, but it's a paddlefish. That's a big one too. Like a 40 pounder. Look at that. Look at the beast. Look at that beast. That's insane. Oh my god. That is a beast as well. Beast of burden. And for those of you that have never seen a paddlefish before, there it is. A paddlefish. It's a goofy fish with like, they call them spoonbills as well. And you'll see why. Once I get them closer, I need to get them closer to near shore, anyways, to unhook them. But yeah, there it is. See that? It has a spoon for a bill. That's why it's called a spoon bill. In Missouri, I catch these things and they're not actually illegal to come up with. In Wisconsin, you're not supposed to catch them, but 
no one ever targets them because uh there it is you can see that spoon bill fish it's a big one too see that that is like a 60 inch spoon bill but you're not allowed to take these out of the water according to wisco rules so i'm just gonna ease them back in there you go ah it was a massive spoon bill probably like 50 60 pounds as well great night i think that's gonna be it for tonight i'm done i got three massive fish Hope you enjoyed this episode. Some huge Wisconsin River monsters. I wish I could have showed you that one on camera, but in Wisconsin, you're not really allowed to take them out of the water, I don't think. And since I do YouTube, I really shouldn't. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys. That was a very successful day, even though I did not catch my targeted flathead. Two 50-pound fish, one sturgeon, and that spoonbill, I think, was about 50. It was like 50, 58, 60 inches long. About that weight. I couldn't show you a picture of that stir, uh, the spoonbill, but the thing is, in Wisconsin, they are protected, so you're not really supposed to take them out of the water. A lot of people do, but since I do YouTube, obviously, I'm not going to break the rules, especially especially on camera, because, you know, that would be dumb. And, um, yeah, so like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of my other Wisconsin uh, River fishing videos on the left over there, and I will see you guys later.